2018 is going to be a massive year on TV. <laughs> and the stars came out yesterday to reveal what you'll be watching right here on Nine. There are some great new shows mm. and the return of some of your old favourites too. Today's show reporter Miss Dubbo for several years, <laughs> Sophie Upcroft. Seven. Seven years as a sneak peek. Take a look. <laughs> Ladies, welcome back to Channel 9. Are you excited? Yes. Very excited. Very excited. We get another year and continue to find brilliant talent in the country and it's fantastic. Kelly, you're not going to be the new kid on The Voice anymore. Are you going to get a bit more fierce when it comes to the competition for different contestants? We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. Delta, yes. you've won the last two years. Third time lucky, going for a hat-trick? Going for a hat-trick, absolutely. Hey. Absolutely. <laughs> what are you looking forward to watching on Channel 9? I want to see Australian Ninja Warrior. I love it and I stay up at night. I watch I watch in the States. Could you hack it? Oh no. <laughs> Ninja 2 is coming soon. Um, we were absolutely delighted and overwhelmed with the success of season one and season two, if you can believe this, is going to be bigger and better. Yeah. What true stories are you bringing to our screens this year? There is fobbed operations. Yes. There there's is. animal attacks. Yes. There's probably the most incredible animal attack I've ever heard of. So we can only expect the best this year then? Well, That's the tagline of the show. <laughs> expect the best. We don't think it's been too much pressure on it and it's the Nine Network's new slogan. Yeah. Channel Nine, expect, expect the best. best. You guys are bringing Chopper back to our screens. It's a big job to tackle. It's very complex and the many different parts of his life that we're looking at, parts of his personality, but essentially it's it's the bringing together of Chopper and Mark Reed. And a question for all the ladies, are there many scenes with Dr. Dr. Topless? I'm far too old for that, but but Ryan, who's the, the big hunky brother, plenty with him. This time next year coming back, it's a, it's a great honour and there's going to be some wonderful new stories. So imagine where you're going to be this time next year and you might be on the TV show. You guys are the face of the hot new drama, Bike Club. It's basically like a, uh, like sort of a serial crime thriller um, based kind of in the detective world. You're back for another season of Married at First Sight. Yes. Tell us about it. Well, it's a bigger experiment than ever before. Uh, and we've got some amazing personalities in there. We've just started filming now. So there's lots of fun, laughter, bit of sex. Talking about your generation. So how are you going to make us lol? Uh, lol, I have to look that up. It's, it's been so long. I think when we originally did the show, that, that expression didn't exist. You guys are coming up soon with Family Food Fight. Family Food Fight is going to be amazing. Family Food Fight, coming soon to Channel 9. Yeah. That I is my pick ladies. for 2018, actually. Yeah. It looks like a great show. It they is. are some of the stars right there from Channel 9's hit new show, Family Food Fight. And joining us now in the studio is one of the judges, direct from the United Kingdom, <laughs> the one, the only, Tom Parker Bowles. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, How did you get involved in this? It's an epic show, isn't it? It is a fantastic show. It's, you know, family food, obviously about food, but mm. this is about the best Australian food. It's about bringing together all the different strands and cultures and, uh, you know, cooking up food that we can all eat. It was really fun. Mm. I have a feeling we're going to fall in love with these families. Tell us a bit about them, where they're from, who they are. Who well, they are. You get all these different families. So you have, for example, um, the Sharuks, who are these wonderful four ladies, you know, with, with sort of, you know, a Lebanese culture cultural background, you have the Nuans, you have the Butlers, you have the Panayidi, so you've got Greek, you've got Italy, mm. you've got all these things that, you know, all the sort of things that make up modern Australia, bringing all their food cultures together and, and just celebrating it, really. It is a melting pot. I, I, I've seen it, I've been fortunate enough to see it. It is such a great show because it does truly celebrate the melting pot that is Australia. Um, yeah. and, and, and how does it work though? What's the format? Well, the format is you have the families yeah. and they, they, have, you know, they cook together and you, you get to the point of eliminations and yeah. they have different challenges, but it's not a nasty show. The point is it's a celebration. It is. Mm. Yeah. And you know, we've got the great Matt Moran, who's head judge, and uh, Hayden Quinn and Anna. So you know, we just sit and watch. You know, yeah. we, we have this wonderful job where we sit, watch these lovely families cook, and stuff our faces. The, the, <laughs> judges, top gig. the judges all, you all come from very different backgrounds though. Mm. How are you getting along? It was strange, you know, of course you'd think, I would say this, wouldn't I? We all get on, we're all best friends. But from the first moment we all sat down together, that was it. We sort of gelled and, you know, this sort of um, pom coming in and, and supposed to be the sort of smart, all the rest mm. of it. But, you know, they, they, they're quite happy to mob me up. And, uh, and we just got on and it was, it was watching these families develop and, you know, but also cameras and it's just the most amazing set. And mm. they were 
lovely. And, and you always expect people to come on and talk about these new shows, saying it's all brilliant and lovely, but there was such a good feeling on this yes. show. No. I just loved it. We know that you only speak the truth. Yes. <laughs> um, also, in regards to what they're cooking, um, were there some surprises for you from the families and, and the skill level? This, you know, sometimes on these cookery shows, you look at the food and think, oh, no, I have to eat that. It just blew us away, really. Mm. And we're all quite, you know, especially Matt and Anna and, and Hayden, but all professionals. And we were just eating the whole time. And, you know, whether, whether it was, I mean, you can see the drama, but it, you, you, there's Italian food, there's Lebanese food, yeah. there's Vietnamese food. It, it genuinely blew us away. I'm hungry just thinking about all of those <laughs> meals. Tell us, if the Parker Bowls were to compete in a program <laughs> like this, what would be on the menu? Um, there would be um, there would be chili involved, I think. Chili. Uh, a lot of chili involved. Spicy. Um, my children like chili. My wife likes chili. Um, and if it was my mum and dad, I think it'd be more traditional, more English. And I'd be protecting my lamb chops from my dad who would eat them. I tell you what, I, I wouldn't mind sharing a Yorkshire pudding with your ma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with a gravy on it. She's a good mm. cook, my mum. Is she? Is yeah. she? What's her specialty? Well, she was. My wife says if I bang on it again, but roast chicken. She's good at it. <laughs> oh yeah. So stop that banging roast mom. chicken. Do you put uh, do you put a layer of bacon over the roast chicken? <gasps> butter. Literally, cover it butter. Yeah. A lemon. Um, up There's where the sun doesn't shine. Oh, <laughs> and salt and pepper. <laughs> Good visual. <laughs> oh, you just want to say, sorry, wrong, wrong thing. thing. Yeah. No, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's lovely to see you, my friend. Thank you very lovely much. And me. the show is absolutely sensational. Looking so to stay it. tuned to it. Lovely to see you, man.